how I find peace. So I just got back home after spending the winter away and when I first got here, I just felt a little unsettled. I just moved into a new place and everything is going really well, but still the ground beneath my feet just felt a bit unsteady. So here are all the things that helped bring me back down to earth and made me feel at ease. For the first time ever, I have my very own garden. What better way to physically ground down than getting your feet in the dirt every single day? I'm growing lettuce, cucumbers, spinach, and I just keep adding more and more as the weather gets warmer. To be able to come out here and spend time really nurturing my plants has been such a beautiful way to disconnect from everything else going on and connect with the earth. For me, movement has always been a way to find peace, whether that's practicing yoga, going on a walk, or taking a jog. My new neighborhood is really quiet and everything is blooming right now, so I've been loving just getting outside and taking a mindful stroll. Sometimes I'll just completely unplug and listen to the birds, but recently I've been loving throwing my headphones in and getting lost in a good book. And I've been listening on Chirp, a super special audiobook retailer and the sponsor of this video. Right now I'm listening to a book called Wilding by Isabella Tree, which is a super inspiring story about a British couple who basically attempt to rewild or bring back wild plants and animals to their depleted farmland. This book was originally $22 and I got it for $1.99. You can find so many deals like this up to 95% off on Sherp. No subscription or monthly commitment required. So if you're interested in trying it out, you can get 50% off your first order with code TESSFLORIO50. Just click the link down below. Also, I just wanted to share this. I created this little reward system with myself where every time I walk or run to the beach, I get to pick one shell to bring home and add to my collection, which has been really fun. Whenever I'm feeling a little down and out, I bake. Food is so, so healing and the actual making of it even more so, at least for me. I hardly ever follow a recipe, mainly because I'm usually missing some of the ingredients. So sometimes my creations turn out a little bit funky, but it's all about the process, right? Something I've been working on for a while now is creating without attachment to the result. So creating for the sake of creating itself, and not worrying if the final product comes out exactly right. Luckily, these muffins were very delicious though. On that same note, something that always makes me feel calm is making art, and I definitely don't make enough of it. I love to paint, to draw, and also to channel my inner child with some good old arts and crafts. This is just a small little sliver of my overflowing craft bin, but of course the possibilities are endless. Today I sifted through my bead collection and decided to make a keychain with a few shells I have left over from Bali. And I actually already made one of these for mine and my boyfriend's keys, so I thought I would make this one for you. So comment down below if you would like this, how I can find you, and I will reach out. Alright, so nothing can compare to the absolute bliss that is being around animals. Although I don't have a pup of my own just yet, my brother just got a new job, he's been super busy, and lucky for me, I've been able to snag some quality time with his sweet puppy Cooper. Animals always do the best job at reminding us to be present in our bodies, living here and now. They're just, of course, never stuck in the future or the past, and they're always just flowing with what is. We can learn a lot from them. I did try to convince Cooper to take our first ocean dip of the year together, but he wasn't really having it. It was pretty cold, but it felt the most refreshing and I had my babe there to warm up with afterwards. Uh, this right here is true peace. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.